Even as Britain announced its controversial plan, boatloads of asylum seekers came ashore at Dover. Men, women and children hoping for new lives in the UK. But soon the majority of migrants like these could be sent 6,000 kilometres in the other direction. If they come across the channel illegally in these vessels, then uh, they uh, risk uh, ending up not in the UK, uh, but in Rwanda. It's part of the UK's tough new approach to stem the flow of asylum seekers, 28,000 of whom arrived last year across the English Channel. Britain's Home Affairs Minister signed a deal in Kigali for Rwanda to take thousands of mostly young single men. The arguments in favour are reminiscent of Australia's policies on Manus Island. Putting evil people smugglers out of business is a moral imperative. For those who don't wish to make Rwanda their new home, they will be facilitated to return to their country of origin or settle in other receiving countries. Former Manus refugees and rights groups have condemned the plan as inhumane and unworkable. This kind of policies doesn't only damage refugees, but um, actually let the populist uh, politicians to get power. There's no evidence that it will stop these appalling organised criminal gangs, these traffickers, uh, and it's going to be incredibly expensive as well. Migrants in limbo at a camp in northern France say they'll still risk the channel crossing. It's a lot worse place than Afghanistan, right? There is no future for us in Rwanda. We have no other choice. Boris Johnson has been under pressure to deliver on a promise to take back control of Britain's borders. We can't carry on forever taking everyone. Obviously they've got to go somewhere, so yeah, perhaps it would uh, be a better idea. Though as in Australia, the plan is sure to face fierce opposition in Parliament and legal challenges in the courts. Anne Barker, ABC News, London.